Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so now let's go ahead and talk about the most recent updates. So recently, let's take a look here. This is the wrong tab. Let's go into the mail. So, um, yeah, still the wrong tab. Let's go to system. Update 2.4, that's not the right one, but update announcement 2.4. So that's still not a good one. All right, let's keep scrolling. Yes, so they have the new Time of the Lord targets, new equipment available, special benefits from the Royal Academy of Warfare, and secret ledgers event. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they added. So they have the new Time to Lord event. Basically, they want you to improve your current equipment. This is a little hard to read. Probably is the same way for you. I think the quality is pretty darn bad. Um, but basically, you want to improve your gear. Now, the better you make your gear in the time available, the... Uh, more points you get and the more points you get the better your rewards are and the rewards are pretty darn good let me tell you that but they're basically asking you please spend five thousand dollars in the next five days and if you do so we'll go ahead and give you a couple free things to alleviate that pain and suffering that and depression that you're facing now so that's pretty nice of them um, that's the first time they've ever done that but they're forcing these really tight timelines trying to keep everyone engaged in the game. Um, so, that's really interesting, but you know what? Hey, who cares? You know, it, it's... I think, you know, if you're going to do it, now is a good time to go ahead and make those upgrades. Now you're going to ask me, all right, well, I know you keep on saying that Retribution is not the way to go. Is it worth going to Sun King? Well, um, if, you know... I'm sitting here with Demon Hunter plus five. I'm not going anywhere because I'm planning on leaving the game. Um, just simply don't have enough time to play. I've been playing this in King of Avalon for two years now, and I'm just I'm ready to leave. Moving on to the next thing. Um, but is it worth going to the Sun King? Is a great question. Um, if you have the money and you're willing to spend a ton of money uh, to get there. I think it's really well worth it. Skip retribution altogether. If you ever got retribution, you just wasted $8,000. Now, if you think, okay, well, retribution costs $8,000. Demon Hunter costs like $2,000. How much does Sun King cost? That's probably going to be like at least $16,000. Now, at least they made everything cheap. They cut the cost of these rare materials in half. That's great. And the benefits you get from the Sun King is just phenomenal. Like it just keeps on going and going. Um, like I'll go line by line and tell you guys what's great and what's bad about this. But then again, everything is just so expensive, and this is just to craft it. Let not even enhancing. Enhancing is going to cost a fortune. It's going to be double of Retribution, and Retribution was more than double Demon Hunter, and Demon Hunter is a nice chunk of change. So. It's just, it's a lot of money. Is it worth it? Only if you're going to be number one in your kingdom and you have that mentality of, I need to be number one in the kingdom, then sure, go ahead and do it. Um, you know, a lot of people put a huge emphasis on the fact that, you know, KVK is the end game. And it is the end game. You don't want to kill your own team. You want to, you know, don't kill your own kingdom. You want to kill others. So, I really think that it's a great idea. However, I'm not going to do it. I wouldn't recommend someone doing it. You know, I'd rather let someone who I'm friends with pay that money to get this gear than myself. Now, with that being said, you're going to be at a disadvantage in every battle. But this is a huge chunk of change. Now, I'm just being realistic, you know, in life it's a lot of money. Um... 
if you have the money and you don't care about the money, go for it. You know, I'm not holding anyone back. But this is where the game separates into two different types of players. Because now we're looking at cavalry attack, which is a phenomenal stat. Distance attack, which is another phenomenal stat. Troop defense, which is amazing. Infantry attack, no one cares about. And then infantry defense, another great stat. And these are just base benefits. Then you have the Royal Academy of Warfare, which is an entire set of equipment from the Royal Academy, activates these special benefits. And this is just insane. Now, let's take a look at Demon Hunter and see what we get from Demon Hunter. Um, Alright, so the game just kind of froze. So that's cool. We'll wait a little bit. Alright, here we go. So now that we have, looking at Demon Hunter, you know, we don't get any of that. We only get the basic ones. Look at Retribution. Well, what does Retribution give us? Well, it doesn't give us anything either. So, not only are you getting your base stats, which are phenomenal stats, and in good quantities. Now, the question is, you know, how much more worth it is it than Demon Hunter? I mean, it's not about the actual base stats. It's about these additional benefits that you get from it. So, like, these benefits alone. Infantry damage received, that's a good stat. Cavalry damage received, good stat. Distance damage received. Artillery damage received, both terrible stats. Army damage, army damage received. In huge numbers, too. Infantry damage, no one cares. Cavalry damage, a great stat. Distance damage, great stat, then the bad stat with artillery damage. Now, granted, I think you have to have the full set of gear in order to unlock this. Yeah, entire set of equipment. Now, I don't think that this these benefits increase when you enhance your gear. But you still have all you know high stats from all these others that are going to be enhanced along with it. Um, damage stats are the same from Demon Hunter plus 5 or Retribution plus 5. Yeah, so, you know, you're really only benefiting from this Royal Academy of Warfare. And it's not going to be increasing when you go and enhance. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit, a lot more on the equipment. I'm going to break it down all the way. But this is just a brief overview of the new update. Like, it's insane, and there it's a lot of money that's going to be tossed. It's about 32,000 gold now for uh, each piece of rare material, not to mention steel and, you know, basic other materials. Um, but at least they optimized that, so that's good. Um, they did something right, but they're just screwing this game up more and more, man. And it's just, it's, it's perpetual. It's never going to end. It's going to keep going like this.